Hi, I'm Bobo. Last week in Hong Kong property, CK Assets' new project, Leos, in Hang Shui Q, saw 15 buyers forfeit their deposits. The developer stated that if the units fetch lower prices, the original buyers may be required to pay the price difference for the resale. On Sunday, CK Asset reduced prices by up to 32% to sell 28 units, including the 15 that had been subject to forfeited deposits. By the end of the day, six units had been sold, four of which were resales. One notable case came from a garden duplex in Block C. This was Unit 19 on the ground and first floors, measuring 778 square feet, boasting three bedrooms, a balcony, a 351 square foot garden, and a 306 square foot rooftop. The unit was resold for about 13.23 million Hong Kong dollars at about 17,000 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. According to transaction records, the flat was previously sold in 2021 for 15.65 million Hong Kong dollars at about 20,000 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. This means the new transaction price was roughly about 2.4 million Hong Kong dollars or 15% lower than two and a half years ago, entitling the developer to recover this difference, including the forfeited 15% deposit of 2.34 million Hong Kong dollars, the original buyer's actual loss exceeded 4.76 million Hong Kong dollars, which is enough to cover the loss of another one-bedroom unit. Last weekend, in addition to Leo's, Sun Hung Kai Properties, the Yoho Hub 2 in Yunlong, also had its second sales round of 213 units, with a total of 204 units sold. Including the first round, the project has now sold 414 units, accounting for about 98% of the units available for sale. The developer mentioned that there aren't many one-bedroom units left in Block 8 and plans to exercise more restraint while preparing to launch new units in Block 6. The first-hand market recorded 244 deals, with the Yoho Hub 2 accounting for over 80% of the transaction volume. In other recent major sales, Miami K1 in Kai Tak had a major buyer purchase three three-bedroom units for over 51.68 million Hong Kong dollars last Saturday, with four units sold over two days. As we step into May, developers have noticeably slowed their launch of new projects, seemingly assessing the market's capacity for absorption. But seeing promising sales at the Yoho Hub 2, Several developers are set to announce their latest plans. Among the rail-linked projects, Sun Hung Kai Properties Park Seasons project in Lo Has Park Phase 12B launched 90 units at original price yesterday. The new launch covers one to two bedroom layouts with all units priced below 8 million Hong Kong dollars at about 15,100 Hong Kong dollars per square foot on average. The new sales round is expected to start this weekend. The developer has also updated the prices for the remaining eight units from the previous two price lists with an approximate price increase of 0.5%. Sun Hung Kai Properties also revealed that within the next two to three weeks, it will launch phase 3B of Novoland in Tune Mun, involving 769 units. Additionally, in collaboration with Far East, New World Development's project in Kai Tak, the Pavilion Forest, is expected to be launched this season. The project will be developed in three phases, providing a total of 1,305 units, with phase one launching first, involving 291 units, mainly featuring two bedroom apartments. In addition to large developments, single building projects are also underway. Developed by Vantage International, the completed project One Wood Road in Wan Chai is preparing to enter the market. Show flats will be available as early as Wednesday, with prices to be announced soon. The project features 42 units ranging in size from 460 to 1,284 square feet, and the layouts include two bedroom units and three bedroom duplexes, with an emphasis on 460 square foot two bedroom units. Meanwhile, as the market remained on the primary market, the secondary market continued to face pressure. Last weekend, Hong Kong's four biggest property agencies recorded four to seven deals for the city's top 10 blue chip housing estates. Although there was a slight rebound from last week, the transaction volume remained constant. The second-hand market remained quiet, with many homeowners more willing to sell at low prices in hopes of a quick sale, yet the outcomes varied significantly. Let's check out two transactions from the blue chip housing estate City Wan Sha Tin. A middle floor unit in Block 13 of Phase 1 was sold for about 9.7 million Hong Kong dollars at nearly 12,000 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. The newly renovated flat measured about 819 square feet, featuring three bedrooms with northwest facing views of the Xingmen River. The unit was on the market for about five months, initially priced at 12.3 million Hong Kong dollars. This was eventually reduced by nearly 2.6 million Hong Kong dollars, about a 21% drop before it sold. However, since the original owner purchased the unit in 2001 for 3.1 million Hong Kong dollars, they made about 6.6 .6 million Hong Kong dollars in profits. In contrast, owners who bought units in earlier years are facing losses upon exit. 
In Block 8, an upper floor unit was initially listed for 5 million Hong Kong dollars. This was a two bedroom unit now converted to a one bedroom measuring about 300 square feet. It eventually sold for 4.79 million Hong Kong dollars after a 210,000 Hong Kong dollar reduction at about 14,000 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. The original owner bought the flat in 2018 for 5.25 million Hong Kong dollars and held it for about six years, losing about $460,000 in the process. Finally, at Double Cove Starview in Maon Shan, one homeowner lost over 10 million Hong Kong dollars upon exiting the market. This was a featured garden duplex on the ground floor of Block 19, measuring about 3,100 square feet with four bedrooms, four en suites, and a 1,070 square foot garden. The original owner bought it in 2018 for about 56 million Hong Kong dollars, including two parking spaces. This January, it was listed at a loss making price of 47 million Hong Kong dollars and eventually sold for 41 million dollars, including two parking spaces at about $13,000 per square foot. This means that the original owner faced a loss exceeding 15 million Hong Kong dollars, with the flat's value depreciating by about 27% in over a little more than six years. For more information on the secondhand market, stay till the end of this video for this week's recap of secondhand transactions across each district. That's all for this episode. See you in the next.